It does go, so, some weeks go by faster than others. And some, and I, I don't know, this week is kind of, it kind of starting off like it's gonna be a slow week this week. <laughs> but, uh, you never know, it may hopefully it speed up. Snowballs. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Jacoby, you were embarrassed the other night? Yeah, uh, Saturday, um, I was embarrassed for LSU defense. I was embarrassed for the, I was embarrassed for LSU. I mean, we, defensive wise, we didn't put out a great, a great representation of how we practice and how we play. We, we didn't, we just didn't do that. I guess. Oh yeah. Uh, people send me videos of me kind of going off on the defense, but um, you know, uh, you ask anybody around here, I'm, a, I'm an emotional guy, uh, passionate and prideful and, uh, and a very uh, great competitor. And like I said, like I said multiple times, I felt like we were getting dominated um, on Miss basically in the second half. They just about did whatever they wanted to do. And uh, that's not how we supposed to play defense. Um, that's not how LSU defense is played. And like I said, I, I think I said this Saturday, um, if we were a bunch of scrubs, if we didn't have the talent that we have, uh, I wouldn't say nothing at all. I just kind of throw my hands in the air and be like, well, we need, probably need to recruit better. But we have guys that are elite talent guys, guys that can all over the place, the guys that can go first round next year. And uh, we just didn't play like that. Uh, as we didn't play like that as a defensive unit uh, Saturday. And I, for me, I, I just had to let everybody know that's how I felt. Rashard and Braden were talking about over there, just kind of how to tell the truth Monday, Coach O and Coach Rain to put a lot of that you know, defensive lapses mm -hmm. on them. I mean, just from your perspective, what do you think of that? And just mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Coach O, Coach Rain, Coach, Coach Rain are always going to put them on themselves. They're never going to blame each other. They're never, never going to blame. Uh, the players uh, actually right here uh, in the end zone, Coach Randa, in fact, kind of asked me what I thought. And I told him, I'm like, I know y'all going to put it on yourself and y'all going to blame yourself. But at the end of the day, it's us. At the end of the day, the players are going to have to make the plays. Um, they can't, uh, I told Coach Randa, like, y'all can't uh, baby feed us. Y'all are not going to be able to, to put us in our gap every play. Uh, at, at some point, we're going to have to make the plays, regardless of the call. Regardless of the situation, we're, we're the players out there on the field. We're going to have to make that play. I guess not only the scoring, but it was like two plays, 75 yards, two plays, 75 yards, one play, 35 yards. I mm -hmm. mean, that, that's just guys just running free. Huh? Right. And I, uh, I said this uh, to Coach Bush on Sunday. I came up here and met him on Sunday. Uh, we, you know, when you go back and look at the film, we won on third down. So when that means, what, 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 that, what I take from that is, when we made Ole Miss actually have to drive the ball, actually have to play, sit down and play football, they couldn't do it. I think the, we was 85% on third down as a defense, and that's uh, that's outstanding. So when you take away those big plays, Ole Miss really didn't have anything. Uh, and I hate to say it because you still have to play defense on those big plays, but if you take away those big plays, they really didn't have anything. And I think uh, that that uh, that at, coming out coming out of halftime, those two plays they took to get 75 yards for a touchdown and then a two-point conversion after that, it really frustrated me because that, um, that Coach O preaches, the the drive that comes out, uh, the series that comes uh, after halftime is one of the most important series in the game. And we didn't we didn't play at the LSU standard performance that uh, series. Uh, I think we took a great step today. Uh, tell the truth Monday, we told the truth. Uh, we had an open table today as the defense. Uh, we kind of put our emotion out there, what we could have done. The coaches asked what they could do better. And, uh, you know, and it, it was really good. Uh, even Coach Joe said it today. Uh, as a team, especially as a defense, we had one of our best Tell the Truth Mondays. We had one of our best Monday practices. And uh, I think that uh, we made an improvement. And like I said, uh, you know, kind of brought light to me today when I, I mean, Sunday when I talked to Coach Joe. You know, past LSU, LSU teams would have lost the uh, the wake up games, the wake up games where you know it kind of get punched in the mouth and you know kind of get jarred. Past LSU teams would have lost, um, but uh, we won. We're ten and zero, um, and we are, and we can say that this is a game that we can learn from our experience. You know, we still control our own destiny, and uh, you know that just speaks to the character of this team. Jacoby. Two more for Jacoby. You guys are also getting close to the end of the school semester. How are y'all keeping your grades up, being so busy? Uh, that's why we have our, you know, support staff. Um, you know, we have guys at uh, Cox, 
uh, stay with us. Um, we have tutors. You know, we have uh, we have so many people around us uh, that's gonna make sure we stay focused on that end. I know everybody's kind of you know up and you know excited about the athletic side and winning and all that. But uh, um, uh, one of the best calls I heard coming here recruiting. Um, one of the ladies at COP, she said, you're going to have to try to fail if you fail a class at LSU because of all the uh, help and the support cast. Man, the support cast here at LSU is amazing. And um, trust me, they're, they're going to make sure we pass out all of our stuff. Was it good to have Michael Divinity back out of practice today? Yeah, uh, Mike looked so happy today at practice, man. He looked he looked happy being back. I mean, uh, he he enjoyed playing with us. Uh, he doesn't, he enjoyed being back with his brothers. and. Uh, I think he's going to really cherish cherish uh, the times he has with us because, you know, he, he's seen firsthand that it's, it can be easily taken away. And uh, like I said, I, you know, I, I've never seen Mike this happy being with us today.